What's going on, guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman. Of all of the crazy Avengers 4 time loop theories that are circulating around the internet right now, perhaps the craziest one has Tony Stark already having committed murder in the MCU to obtain the Soul Stone. Before we break all that down, if you could grab the subscribe button. Congratulations again to our first PlayStation winner, The Vicious Life, and our last plaque winner, She Police. If you want a chance to win one of two PlayStation 4 Pros, or a whole slew of other Marvel related stuff, all you gotta do, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment on this video, and I'll get into all the giveaway stuff again at the end of the video. So if you remember during Civil War, perhaps the most poignant scene in the entire movie is Tony Stark coming to the realization that not only did Winter Soldier kill his parents, but that Captain America might have known the entire time. That is actually, and perhaps the most exact moment when my girlfriend texts me in the middle of me doing a video, I have to put my phone on silent and record this clip again, except I'm not because this is my 10th take and the 10th text and I'm not doing that. So here we go. Perhaps the most insane moment when she, oh my dogs, dude, seriously, they, they should try doing a video. My dogs and my girlfriend should collaborate on an Avengers 4 video for you guys. I would love to see that. It would, it would be awesome. In fact, I promised that before the end of the year, my both my Huskies and, and my girlfriend Jessica will collaborate on an Avengers 4 video for you guys. In the meantime, I'm gonna go let my dogs in and give my brain a break before I seriously haul off and punch the computer screen. Avengers 4, it's a movie where people will presumably die, but other people have died in real life and in the MCU. But in the MCU, important people have died. And some of those people are Tony Stark's parents. Yes, Tony Stark's parents. And the moment when Tony Stark finds out that not only were his parents killed by Bucky Barnes, but that Captain America knew, it's pretty much when the Avengers break up, right? And of all the reasons why they didn't defeat Thanos, Star-Lord aside, also the fact that he already had three Infinity Stones, let's completely be real here. He probably only needed one. He might have not needed any with his posse. Who really knows? But the fact that... They couldn't defeat Thanos because they weren't on the same page. Really starts at the moment when Tony Stark realizes that Cap knew how his parents died. But what if what if, what if Tony Stark uh, kind of knew that his parents died because Tony Stark was the one who ordered the hit on his own parents? What? All right, got to give the shout out to Reddit user SF March 07. Three minutes in this video, I'm a late on the shout out here. But this is a Reddit user. He's done some theories in the past. It's not a bad one. But here's the idea. That Tony Stark actually has to sacrifice his own parents, the thing he loves most in the world, via time travel in order to obtain the Soul Stone to defeat Thanos. A lot of theories have them go into alternate universes using the quantum realm, using the time travel or the time stone sent forward in time from Doctor Strange in order to manipulate the events in order to obtain all the stones to have a secondary gauntlet. Yes, there's precedent in the comics. If you want to see why this is rather impossible and what the butterfly effect is, there's a link at the end of this video. I've already covered that in a previous video. But why this makes a lot of sense and what really gives credence to this being a factual theory is that it keeps the continuity that's already in place, meaning that it doesn't change the events of the past but rather intentionally retcons them given new information. So the reason I think this is cool is because it's a super important moment for why the Avengers broke up and why they couldn't defeat Thanos. But it is also precisely the moment, perhaps, that was needed to defeat Thanos. And so you have the ultimate duality, right? The, the ideal and its antithesis in the same moment. And instead of having to have Tony Stark sacrifice his life, which may be the role of Captain America at some point throughout this film, you have him make the ultimate sacrifice in a different kind of way. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think this is plausible? Do you think that this kind of sacrifice is way too outside of the box and way too crazy for them to try to pull off in this next movie? 
It's a pretty good theory, not going to lie. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, again, congratulations to our last PlayStation winner, but we're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, now one at the 100 and one at the 150,000 subscriber mark. All you got to do, hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment on this video. Same thing in order to win this Avengers 1 Marvel Trendsetters limited edition, limited run 2500 plaque containing 10 original film cells from the first Avengers movie. If you want to win this or the PlayStation, same rules apply. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like and a comment on this video, then hit the notification bell because the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. This is not the lottery. The odds are way higher that you're going to win stuff. Plus, in the month of December, we're going to be doing a ton of giveaways. So my name is Michael Roman. This is Everything Always. If you've been with me for a while, thank you so much for your subscription. If you're just finding the channel, hit the subscribe button, stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.